Howdy. Howdy, subscribers. We got a game of Domination on Karachi, the P90, which I won't be using in this game, obviously. I'll be using your rape sticks. Uh, the video is sped up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can now, though. Uh, hopefully it's not too annoying. YouTube's gay, so, you know, gotta make do with what I have. I think they should make a thing where you can become a premium member, where you can have, upload as many videos, or, um, as much time as you want, is what I was trying to say. Because, you know, I'd pay five bucks a month to be able to have unlimited time. That'd be amazing. Of course, they don't do that because people will post TV shows, movies, all kinds of crazy shit. And they don't want that, so. What are you going to do? Uh, I think 15 minutes would just be, like, that'd be the best cap. It'd be great for Call of Duty videos uploading because most matches are not much longer than 13 or 14 minutes. So uh, apparently they're going to make an update to power these guns down. I I don't support that. Uh, I mean, it can get a little bit annoying in search and destroy when people rush you with them. They flank behind you and whatnot, but... I'm playing Team Death, uh, I'm rarely annoyed by them. But, uh, I see why they're doing it. I know that they're overpowered, but I just love them so much I don't want to see them go. So, uh, the setup I use for the rape sticks is SMG is my primary. Uh, it wasn't before, I used to just put whatever in there, but I realized that an SMG would make you run as fast as possible because it's less weight on your back. Um, and I tend to use, I just use Ninja and then Marathon Lightweight. Marathon Pro is amazing, it helps you move even quicker jumping over obstacles and stuff. But, uh,. The Lightweight Pro doesn't help you at all using these shotguns because it helps you aim in and you can't aim in with these shotguns. So I'm, this whole game I was just failing with the Predator Missile. I don't think I get any kills with the Predator Missile which is really bad but <laughs> what are you going to do? I like to use the Blast Shield when using these shotguns because it uh, helps a lot more than people think with explosions like, um, uh, a, a, ran a random frag grenade can sit like, um, just a few feet away from you and you can survive it which is a pretty big advantage uh, this game was from a while back when I didn't have the hang of shooting 1-2 yet I think I've got the hang of it now I haven't unlocked them yet because I prestige but I will be using them Probably for my three rank ups until I prestige to prestige two. I don't know, there's lots of fun to use, and I figured if you get him a 67, might as well use him the whole time. The AK, I'm not really. It's not a gun worth not prestiging for, it's not a gun like I need to use, so. Those ranges aren't bad either. The thing I noticed about the ranges is uh, when you're using one, you can't aim down the sights. You have to, uh, it's right trigger shoots the right shot on the right side of the gun, and the left trigger shoots the left shot. So you can shoot two, two of them at the same time, or just one. Pretty cool. But they do take a long time to reload, and I'd have to use sleight of hand on them, because... You're in a sticky situation, you gotta be ready. Maybe I'll try to get a video out with the Ranger Kimbos. They're not half bad, so. I don't know, I don't really have too much passion to play this game anymore. It's until they make an update, anyways. I think I already mentioned this in my other video. Might have been this one, though, because I, I did the commentary on this one. 
Then I exported it. And the video file is 10 minutes and 59 seconds. And then on YouTube they said, no, it's 11 minutes and 1 second. Gotta do it again. And then when I went back to the original file, for some whatever reason, it, uh, the commentary screwed up on me. Then I had to do it again. Which was fantastic. It was great. So, here we are, round two. Uh, if you're listening to this, I was successful because if I fail this time, I won't be doing it again. I'm, I'm far too lazy for that. Oh, uh, there's a gun that I need to try out the F FAL. But, uh, you're gonna have to wait for that one for a couple weeks, probably. So, I'm on break now, which is great. It's about, uh, doing some walkthroughs. My time off. Takes three shots to get that guy down. Right here, I, I was smart and I knifed him. Really, you gotta, you gotta take all of your options into consideration when someone's in your face. Uh, knifing's the quickest way if someone's just right in your face, uh, so I recommend that because knifing uh, in this game it doesn't it doesn't screw you over most of the time. It uh, it's pretty reliable, especially if you have commando and tactical knife. It's just unstoppable. So, uh, and you have a huge chance of shots not detecting, not not killing the first shot, so when they're up in your face I recommend knifing. Just seems like a smart thing to do. I've still yet to bring you a tactical knife video. Uh, I haven't been done it that much actually, lately. I haven't even unlocked a tactical knife because I stay away from the pistols most of the time. But I probably will try again, I'm thinking. So I have the Stealth Bomber on this game, and what I realize now is the Stealth Bomber goes in a straight line over the entire map. So what you want to do is you want to set it outside the map and then point the little arrow thing on the towards the inside of the map, and then it will just it'll be used to your most ad advantage. It takes out that whole line that it points towards, which is really powerful. But I still believe that Stealth Bomber should have been at 7 and Harrier should have been at 9 because Harriers are extremely powerful and they can easily get you 10 kills. And not easily 10, easily 5, but if you're lucky it'll get you 10. Right here I had a tactical insertion guy, I took this guy out. And then right as the tactical insertion guy spawns, I lose 2 kills, one of the last stand and one of the guy who spawns right away. He must have been pissed just spawning and then getting blown up. It was very unlucky of him. If he if he watched that kill cam, he probably would have survived and his tactical insertion would have been destroyed and he wouldn't have spawned in front of me. Thus he would have not died by the Predator missile or myself. I think the Predator missile is extremely str uh, cheap in this game. Uh, I don't know, it's just like something flies at you out of the sky and you don't even see it coming. You can see it coming, but... Like, you can hear the sound of it flying at you. Isn't that lovely right there? Yeah, it's awesome. You can hear the sound of the Predator missile. It makes like a little ch, -ch sound or whatever. And I hear it every time. Like, even if the radar is fuzzy, I know to run inside, so... I guess there is a way to get away from it, but lots of people aren't aware of it. I guess that's the reason they call them noobs. But I tend to yell predator missile and then smart people will be like, alright, get inside and then dumb people will be like, what, you got a predator missile? And I'll be like, no. A enemy predator missile. Jeez. I don't know. I tend to play with two people. Just me and a friend or three people sometimes. But when you got nine people or six people in a party, uh, the matchmaking in this sucks. I went back and played COD 4 and it's just perfect. 
And I realize it's because there's like 2 million people playing at all times at Modern Warfare 2. But uh, there's got to be a way to fix it and make it work great. I don't know, I just... I miss Modern, Modern Warfare 1's matching matchmaking system. It's worked great. Experienced some lag there, which cost me a kill. Which isn't, isn't that great. Right here, I noticed that I was out of range, so I quickly ran away. Oh, right there, I got really lucky. I was already low on health, and then this guy came in with a FAMAS, which is great. I think it was a FAMAS. Didn't get that last Predator missile out, but... Ooh, look at that, two bar. It's terrible. Anyways, 51-14. Pretty bad game, but... I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And, uh... I don't think I'll have any of these videos out for a while.